Pisces, in your mind's energy, which is the things that you think about or what direction you're moving into, what is your focus, you have got the flexible card. Let me try to move it so that the light is not too bright on it. Okay, flexible. And if this is in your mind, if you are that flexible, like, wow, I'm just saying. If this is in your mind and this is what you're thinking about or this is what you're carrying in your mind's energy, this tells me that you're ready to bend any which way to accomplish something. You're also very um, adjustable or very adaptable to different situations. So it's like a very open kind of energy. It's almost like I'm going to do whatever it takes to birth my reality. I'm going to do I'm going to be able to adjust to any situation that comes in here so that I can get almost like what I want or how I want to move forward in some kind of way. Flexibility is very, very good. It also means that if you do get hit by hard times or things that go wrong, um, maybe uh, you get hit a bit hard, something happens in your life, things don't go the way you want, there's a problem that you're facing. You don't just let it break you, you let it bend you, you know, so you're more flexible to handling different kinds of situations. It's a very resilient energy, which I really like. So let's have a look and see what is going on in the heart energy. This is more about how you're feeling, what your emotions are. Oh, you got the move. Okay, move in this uh, oracle deck. This is a psychic tarot of the heart. So in this oracle deck slash tarot, the move card is the chariot card, which is cancer. Hey, I just realized something here. You've got very flex flexibility, willing to do what it takes, and willing to adjust and do things differently. And you're very determined. That's why it's like, no matter what, I will do whatever it takes to get my life moving to where I want it to be. It's almost like I'm unstoppable. You know what I mean? I, I, nothing can stop me. Um, if I've got to do it, if I've got to find another road, I'm going to find another road. If it's Pisces. This is so good. Wow. Um, it's like I will not stop. I'm going to keep on moving forward. Even if I've got to change direction a little bit, even if I've got to go on a detour, I've got to find another way through. I've got to do it in another way. But I am moving forward no matter what. You're unstoppable with this kind of energy. That's, by the way, what it takes to reach some kind of goal or success. Because it's never going to be like, I'm going on this road and I'm going to get there. You're going to be blocked along the way so many times. So many things are going to go wrong. So many things are going to be happening. And you're going to feel like um, nothing is going the way you want it to go. You're going to feel like I'm being blocked here. This is not working. You don't give up. You become flexible. The moment something doesn't want to work and you find yourself facing a wall, you don't say, oh, it's not for me. You either go and find something to stop breaking that wall down. You find a way over, under, or you go look for a way, a gate somewhere. But you do not give up. And you do that every time you hit a wall. You adjust, you change, you become that flexible energy. Every person who's ever reached some kind of success, every person, they've done that. They don't give up when something blocks them. In fact, we need to normalize it as being normal. Um, it needs to be taught from very young that this is actually a normal process. You don't give up. You keep on moving forward. You're going to hit adversity. You're going to hit the impossible. I think we sometimes, especially like my generation and millennials as well, we grew up with this energy of, especially when TV first started showing up in the world, you know what I mean? It's like we grew up with these stories, you know? these. I remember these old day stories when I was like, like a kid. It's just so like, like a fantasy. Like it wasn't reality. It wasn't real. It's like we face this hardship. Oh my goodness gracious. And then we're going to fight. And at the end, you know, this music plays and you're successful, and you overcame that one little hump in the road, and everything is perfect now, and you move on with your life, that's not reality. And we hit one little bump in the road, and we're like, okay, we overcame that bump in the road, second bump in the road, and then all of a sudden we hit this big brick wall, and we're just like, oh no, it's not my, it's not for me, I'm a failure, I can't get this right. The meantime, there's going to be huge brick walls 
all over the way and the bump in the road is just a normal journey you know so we need to normalize that that's what you need to do to overcome let's have a look and see what lies in the soul's energy that's in your vibration also in destiny and what's meant for you so we've got pillar of light coming in here your vibration is rising this is good you are an oracle hello 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 so when you talk about vibration rising it means that somehow in your life there's going to be a leveling up of your existence and you know when it says yeah you're an oracle it's like the words that you are speaking you are oracling your future you are literally when you are saying i am going to be successful you are not even just saying it out of nowhere you're literally predicting your future and you got to understand our words have got unbelievable power that's why they call words spells you're just going to go spell your words you're going to go learn your spelling a spell is what we cast when we want something to happen okay every time words come out of your mouth it's a spell that is why if you're in my readings okay um i look at when i come into a reading i look at different energies that can unfold in a reading like when i so i see pathways like okay that one goes there and this one goes there i always ask my spirit guides to show me the highest possible vibration is rising pillar of light outcome for you because i know be careful as well when you listen to other readers out there they must not be telling you drama and negative things and bad things because they are spelling they're putting a spell on you on your life with the words that they speak knowing it or not know it most of them don't know it but because i am who i am i know every word i speak to you every word you you hear coming from me it must be what i see in your highest possible version of who you can be because the words i speak is a spell on you and i want the spell to be amazing i want it to transform your life i want you to see who you can be that's why i'm here that's why i do this and listening as well to somebody speak is a spell and that goes double if you have people in your life who speak badly of you don't even be there it doesn't matter if they're your friend your lover your child your mother you exit that building because every time they speak to you and say you know good you're lazy you're a failure they're casting a spell on you so never allow that okay you walk away you go delete 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 i'm amazing i'm a wonderful person okay don't get me started there so yeah be very very careful what you listen to it's got to be your highest timeline that gets shown to you the best version of what you can possibly become in the life that you're in okay so let's get in here and see what is going on all right so we've got your energy i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm so happy we've got the star card showing up in your energy yes there you go pisces <sighs> Whenever I read for you, Pisces, my heart, hey, I think it's because you're water energy or you're just Pisces. I always feel this bubbling, little bubbling up of joy in my like heart chakra, my sacral chakra, and it feels so wonderful to read for you. I don't know if you know that, but when I see the cards come out like this, this is the the way you want to go, the way, the thing that you're dreaming about, the the thing that you are oracling about in your life whatever that is for you there is something that you see you're envisioning that you're dreaming about maybe even since you were a child and you holding it in your heart this is it you hold it hold it hold it don't let it go hold it there no matter what people tell you that dream is impossible you see it hasn't happened yet so it's never going to happen oh okay to you not to me because to me it's going to happen maybe your dreams didn't happen but mine are you see you got to be powerful with the words that you use okay so let's see what crosses you the knight of wands the knight of wands is not a bad card the knight of wands is the inspiration that you need 
the motivation that you need, the drive that you need to pursue the dream. And if this crosses you, I feel like sometimes it can be because you don't see it. Because you don't see it coming quickly as you want it to come. It can be what makes you lose motivation or get uninspired or feel like it's not going to happen, like disappointment energy. But if this crosses you and you have this flexibility and the move energy, I don't feel like it's something that stays with you long. I feel like it's it's like a little bit of a deflation energy. And not long after that, you kind of get going again and you get moving and you're like, no, 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 come on. I wanna, well, I'm going to keep going for what I want. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's even people's words as well. Um, deflating your your energy in some kind of way draining that energy where you have this dream and people kind of come on to you and go, but that's stupid. Oh, no, it's not. It's stupid for them, not for you, okay? Um, the stupid stuff is the amazing stuff out there, you know? So let's have a look now into your, your past, the Six of Cups, following something. Big. This could be, a, honestly, this dream that you have or this goal that you have, you could have been holding it for a very long time. You could also have responsibilities here. Um... The Six of Cups here talks about romanticizing the past or remembering the past. Or it can mean children and responsibility. It can mean your own inner child or listening to your own inner child. And I feel like this is something that you've had in your mind for a very long time. You've kind of like had this like, okay, I would love to experience this kind of life. It's something I really want to hold into, hold on to. It could also be you're listening to a part of yourself here that is more pure and more believing than the now grown-up part of you, that inner child. And there's a calling going on here in this reading. So I see like this little ace of cups there as well. It's like trusting your heart. So let's have a look at the past couple of weeks for you. Temperance, back and forth energy, a little bit of fear as well. So you could be, with Sagittarius coming in here, you could be wanting to take a leap of faith. You could be going... Let me go for something here. Let me try this. But at the same time, you could be kind of holding back out of fear. Um, almost like, you look how this frog's got their, their one little foot in the water there. It's like he's testing the water. He's putting his little little flipper in there. And he's like, how warm or how cold is this water? Should I go further and venture in deeper and see how things go? And I feel like you're kind of like here. So you could be sort of proceeding very cautiously forward, seeing if I start moving towards this dream, what can I expect to unfold? Okay, so I feel like, remember what I told you? You're going to hit a brick wall. Okay, you're going to hit many brick walls and you're going to hit um, wild raging rivers on your way and just get lost in the dark and everything like that's going to happen. And that's the way it is. One of the things that I... I I figured out in my own life is that if I had to not keep pursuing my dreams, what else am I going to do? What are you going to be doing? What are you going to do with your life? Do you know what you're going to do? Are you going to sit home every night and watch Netflix and Prime TV and all those things and play video games and just sleep? Have a hobby and let this be your hobby. You know, let working towards your dream be a hobby of yours. It's just what you do when you have time and you keep moving towards it. <clears throat> what have you got to lose? Nothing. So let's see your future. Let's have a look at your future. I actually took a page of wands out under the deck. So leaving it here. <laughs> let's look into your future energy. <gasps> Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I feel like this page of wands that is under the deck, because you remember the energy of the deck would be the reading. It would be like start to pursue. Start to pursue. Start taking small steps towards what it is you want to create here. And it'll always be a dream until you start pursuing it. I feel like the page of wands is an inspired idea. Something that makes you feel that passion of what I was feeling earlier on of going for something and doing something. And this would be like little baby steps moving into that direction. So in your future, okay, you are going to be shining your beautiful light, Pisces. You're going to be recognized for something here and you're going to be very good at it. You're, you're out there. The peacock comes in there, you know, their feathers are closed and they come walking in there. And you're like, oh, a bird. And then all of a sudden they're like, Voof, 
and it's like, woo, what was that? And it's this beautiful peacock here, and it's just, they know they're worth okay, even when they're not showing off. But when it's time to show off, they show off that beautiful, beautiful feathers that they have there, and everybody just turns and looks and goes, wow, wow. So your future, you're getting recognized for something here. That not only are you getting recognized, I feel like you're very proud of something that you have accomplished. Because it's a very proud energy. Um, like the Nine of Cups energy shows everything you work for. How it makes you feel to accomplish every goal as you go along. And it's almost like you're sitting there going, look at what I've achieved. I've created a life here where I'm happy. And I, I don't, it's not like I need something from somebody to make me happy. I need money to make me happy. No, I've created everything I need and I'm just happy in my own world. Very powerful energy that. So let's see outcome energy. The seven of swords and it showed up here a little bit in the reverse for me. Seven of swords showing up here. I did see it like that when I took it out, which is interesting. Um, seven of swords is negative things you experience in life. And if I'm catching it in the reverse position, it looks to me like there's a lot of funny stuff here that you're getting power over. The seven of swords shows up as something that you experience that is not very good. And I feel like it's also, to be honest with you, part of the journey that you go on, but it's also what you overcome here. It's like, yes, I'm going to be dealing with things, figuring it out how to do stuff. Yes, I'm going to be finding myself in places where it's going to be like, oh, this is quite difficult. Okay. But at the end of the day, your future is your nine of cups and your outcome is you. I feel like overcoming with that reverse energy, overcoming everything that you're going to be facing. And not only things that you're going to face, but things that you've dealt with already or things that you're dealing with in your own life. And you're just like, no, I am moving forward over these things. Especially because I think I pulled out this extra S of Wands here. It makes me feel like you're going to overcome every one of these things moving forward. So let's look into what it is you would wish or dream about the most. No, you actually need the power to keep going oh my god you've got two chariot cards that is your wish that's your greatest wish two chariot cards you hold it in your heart and because you hold it in your heart and you're flexible in your mind and your soul is telling you keep oracling keep speaking what it is you want to create not only to people really it's not for people it's about you you must speak it to yourself in your own mind, um, not just to people. Uh, in fact, sometimes don't even speak it to people. Keep it to you. Hold the energy. You know why? Because if you speak to people about your goals and dreams and you speak passionately about it, you speak like, you know, oh, this is what I want to create, this is what I want to go do. You know, the energy of the words that you're putting out there has already been wasted. So that passion of somebody hearing it and accepting it into their energy, maybe receiving it in a good way or receiving it in a negative way. Maybe they get jealous. Maybe they go, oh, whatever, you know, um, that can drain that power from you. So when you kind of keep your secrets or your goals and dreams to yourself and you only start to really speak about it when you really moving into it, um, a lot of the energy that gets wasted speaking it out there, it's all for you now. You hold it in your energy body and it gives you that power to keep moving towards it. But you want that more than anything. This is your greatest wish, to keep moving towards what it is you want to create and nothing stops you. It's here already. I feel like it's already here. I feel like nothing's going to stop you. So let's see how people see you as being able to do it. Congratulations. It's so crazy because you know the Ace of Swords actually means... It's not easy. Seven of Swords showing up there. It's been difficult. It's going to be so more difficult. But I am determined. And I am pushing forward no matter what. No matter how hard it gets. And I'm going to be successful. Chariot card. No matter how hard the road gets. No matter what distance I need to travel. No matter what potholes I hit on the way. <laughs> you know, I burst the tire and I need to put a new tire on the side of the road. Nothing will stop me from reaching some kind of triumph at the end of the road. It shows up here three times in your reading. You are unstoppable, Pisces. Unstoppable with this kind of energy. I love this reading. Let's see what it is that you might be fearing. The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Maybe 
if you begin your journey, showed up for me a little bit in the reverse as well, the lack of the Ace of Pentacles. Like, I feel like it's coming with two things, two different areas that you may fear. First of all, the practical obvious one would be, would money come from what I'm trying to do? Would there be enough finances for me to start this new beginning? And then I feel like the other one that comes in here is, um, will I actually be able to have a beginning, even if it wasn't financial problems or financial maybe shortage somewhere, um, where what I want to begin and what I want to pursue, is it actually um, going to show up in my material world? Because Pentacles talks about the material world, what you can hold and touch in your hand and experience and actually have. So you could be going, if I do move in this direction, Ace of Swords here, and I'm going for what it is that I want, um, will I actually be able to manifest that kind of reality into my life and see it in my life? That would be a fear of anyone. And I think this is why we've got so many chariots coming in here. So many like um, cards saying Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, all these kind of cards coming up. Say so even the Page of Wands saying, keep moving towards what this is. The only way you're not going to get there is if you stop. Okay. Otherwise, if you keep pursuing it and keep heading for it, you are going to get there. So let's, let's have a look and see what your Spirit Guides will advise you. Or even tell you. And the advice is here, your life is going to change. So you've got Scorpio coming in uh, with a death card. And this is talking about a change coming in in your world. You are absolutely going to be experiencing another kind of life. Where there is an ending to the life that you are currently living. Not actual ending to the life you're living, but a change. Okay, Where the life that you're currently living now it's going to be very different from where you're moving into. So this tells me that the way that you're currently experiencing everyday life, there's going to be an ending there. And there's going to be almost like a rebirth energy in your world. And when you go into this new rebirth of your life, it's not going to be the same as it was before. It's a definite change in your reality, in your life here. So it's where it's going, a change is coming. It is coming. There's a death and rebirth in your life. All you have to do is keep moving in that direction. Don't stop, okay? Because if you stop on the way, we can't get you to where that change takes place. Unstoppable Pisces, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. If you are at the end of the reading, first of all, thank you so much for doing so. Um, you know, if you guys stay like longer in the reading, it's very good for the video that you're watching because then it helps to... Um, get the video out to more Pisces as well who need to get this message, especially those who are in your, also like your current timeline as well, who need the advice. So thank you so much for being here. It also tells me that this is your reading. You got to the ending here, yeah, the death card, which is your life transforming. And if you got to that death card at the end of this reading, that's what's going to happen. It's not just going to end like maybe at the chariot card of a day. I'll always be unstoppable and I'll keep going for what I want. No, you'll be unstoppable. Keep going for what you want and it will change your reality. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here with me one more time. If it is your first time, thank you for watching this video with me. I was watching this video with me. Okay, maybe we'll watch it together later. Okay, thank you for being here. I will see you next time. Bye.